Have you ever considered the possibility that the Matrix, the illusionary world that has intrigued millions, has its roots in Ethiopian culture? Today we explore an intriguing perspective presented by Mulat Tazibu, an Ethiopian historian and philosopher who suggests that Ethiopians were the first programmers of this illusion, the Matrix. Firstly, we dive into the realm of Ethiopian architecture. Consider the ancient rock-hewn churches of Ethiopia, such as the renowned Lalibela churches. Their intricate designs and precise constructions reflect a deep understanding of spatial manipulation, a fundamental element in creating a simulated reality. Could these architectural marvels have inspired the blueprint for the Matrix? Tazibu seems to think so. Turning to the rhythm of Ethiopian culture, we find a unique blend of traditional music with profound spiritual significance. The hypnotic and trance-like qualities of this music, often used in religious ceremonies, induce a state of altered consciousness. Tazibu suggests that these musical traditions could have been a key component in the development of the matrix, providing the harmonious connection between reality and illusion. Next, we delve into the world of language. Ethiopia is home to Geyes, one of the oldest written languages in the world. With its intricate characters and symbols, it provides a rich and complex system, potentially capable of encoding and decoding the illusion. Could this ancient language have served as the basis for the programming language used in the Matrix? According to Tazibu, it's a possibility worth considering. In conclusion, Mulat Tazibu's perspective provides a thought-provoking exploration into the potential influences of Ethiopian culture on the concept of the Matrix. From the intricate designs of ancient architecture to the hypnotic rhythms of traditional music and the complex scripts of an ancient language, Tazibu suggests that these elements of Ethiopian culture may have contributed to the creation of the Matrix. While this perspective remains speculative, it offers an intriguing exploration into the diverse cultural and historical influences that shape our understanding of the world. Whether Ethiopians were the first programmers of the illusion or not, their rich cultural heritage undeniably contributes to the tapestry of human knowledge and imagination.